All right, on to a little bit more of the high security stuff. Over here we have a general body with an MX core in it. There we go. This is a fun lock. I picked it, I have not picked it on camera yet. We have a uh, quick set three, a smart key three that is, GGP extra, but I do not have a key for a nice keyway on it. Never GG, that is just a beast. Got an anti drill thing on the front of it, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. And this thing is loaded with security pins as well. I've gutted it. CX5, starting to work on um, sliders and sidebars a lot more, so there we go for that. Um, you can see I took the top out, made it into a uh, practice locker. I believe this one was already uh, tapped. Just typical. Temple locks, we've got Ango, uh, Yardini. On to our multi locks, we have a multi lock junior. Zoom in here. Yeah, we got multi lock junior. Multi locks rated. Plan on working on this next to try to get the brown belt. We have uh, the guards. We have, you can see different lengths four and five pin. These are also pin and pins. You get these on UHS hardware. Uh, these are really fun picks if you're looking to get into multi locks. Uh, those are great. Uh, also, with the canards, we have a four and five pin version of both. I started with the four pins for pin and pin. And again, just like the Degard, great for practicing getting the multi locks. Um, over here, we have a, I had a custom uh, logoed body from Packlock sent to me for my Sergeant XC. I believe that's somewhat kind of like the uh, Schlag. Uh, speaking of, up here we have our Schlag Primus Everest and a new standard body. I believe this is, so oh, is this a Primus Everest? No, this is just a Schlag Everest. Yeah, this is just the Schlag Everest because you can see the mountain on it and only the side pin there, the check pin. Here is our Schlag Primus Everest and a nice Schlag body. Another one right here because this these two came together. It's got a body for that one. Uh, I need to find a way to get another control key to get rid of this one. We have a Schlage Primus Classic that I've used to practice. I can see I tapped it. Used to practice the side pins there, the finger pins. Got a rubber mini a sidebar on it. Plan on picking that, trying that soon. Uh, those look fun. I haven't tried it yet. We've got a Lockwood Twin. A rubber band helped me get this. I'm still trying to find a body for this sucker. This one just has to have a body. It's too pretty not to. Uh, so yeah, Lockwood Twin. We have an Asa Twin Classic. So the Asa Twin. <clears throat> if you look in there, there is no finger pins in it though. Check that out earlier. An Asa Twin right here. This is a 6000. I don't have a key for this one. You can see the barrel uh, side pins in it though. 3KS. All of our nice slider lock there. Haven't touched that yet. We have an S Desmo. I have played with this and I have gotten close to getting the sucker open but haven't got it open yet. Uh, really fun one to play with. It's just getting the feel of it. This one is a Lips Monoblock. We have a Miwa U8 or a U9. Let's see, like that. There's our key for it. I haven't touched any of these. A lot of these up here are not touched yet. These are just my really high security locks I've been collecting, uh, getting to. This is a West, uh, West 916. Let's look at that. And these would be really fun getting into. I imagine that will be not too far off because I've enjoyed the. the um, Multi locks. We have our by lock. We have a Chinese knockoff of a by lock. I believe I saw this in Bosnian's build video. But yeah, got that. So that would be fun to play with as well. Ew. And last but not least, our little Kaba Micro. 
camera. There we go. And it's for a switch box. So I wired up some wires to it, put it to a 9 volt battery, put a light on it, and. Oh, I, oh, and twisted it right there. Damn it. Really? Right when I'm getting it for the show. There we go. There's our light. There we go. All right, on to the Medico and the Ask the Abboy stuff that I got. This is a uh, nice Medico. Looks like a uh, Bilac cam. Uh, Knox, I don't have a key for it, so this would be fun to open one day. I've got some tips for it, maybe even a bypass. I have a key mark, key mark mortise. Got a key mark X4. I put in a Schleg body here. Got a Medico M3. This was my first Medico picked. Very nice fun locks. We have a uh, another Medico. Yeah, I believe it's just a, another basic Medico in a Euro cylinder format. A Medico Bylock. Actually, I think this was my first one. The M3 I haven't picked yet. Yeah, the M3 has the nub on the end of it there. And this is another just Medico that I was uh, practicing on. You can see I made it into a practice lock, and the I only have it populated with three pins right now. As for the Asa Abloy, I have a Asa Abloy FAB padlock. Really cool. Not too bad of a pick. Like six pins in it. I have a couple Asa disc detainers. We got our classic over here. Up here, we're going into our fun Asa stuff. Move some stuff out of the way here. We got our, what's this, this is our V10, yeah, this is our ASA V10, ASA Ruka V10. So, as opposed to the the barrels, we got the finger pins on that one here, it's just an ASA Ruka classic, like a Max. It's like a hospitality cylinder made by ASA Abloy. I believe this one's seven pins, yeah. We got a sergeant, just a basic sergeant mortise. The tolerances on this thing are great. Kind of a pain in the ass to pick just for that. No security pins in it. Uh, Asa Arrow by Asa Abloy. Another good one, good tolerance. It's not as hard as the Sergeant, in my opinion. Got a Dorma. These things are good, fun to pick. I have not got this open. Look at the king. The bedding on that. Tons of security pins. Move along. This is a 700 clone. Actual 700 here. And then here we've got our, what's this? This is the, yeah, the Max I'm working on right now. So I'm working on the barrel pins of Ass Abloys. This is the Max I'm working on. We got a SCD. We got a, a D12. This one has a really interesting bottom part. I forgot what the difference in the D12s are, but the, the keyway, the paracentric keyway, holy shit. And then I got right here, we have uh, twin combis, one with the five and one with the three on it, one mortise, one oval. Okay, up here in one of my uh, wall displays, we have some more high security padlocks. First of all, no. Second of all, multi-lock, interactive. We have a multi-lock C30. Uh, Asa twin uh, prison mogul cylinder. Gorgeous. Big old cylinder. Asa Max padlock. Asa twin 6000. In the Ruko there. Medico padlock. I got that good deal. I have not played with picking that open. I plan on that soon. And then at the end here, a nice sergeant signature. All right, and last but not least, we have our Euro cylinders and our pretty much mostly high security Euro cylinders. Uh, we'll start with the, um, I guess on the lower end. Here we got a Domplera. Nice keyway on it. It's a Abus E C700. Let's see. Uh, 
It's a dimple lock, and I'm not going to screw that. But EC700, Abus EP10. As you can see, it's pretty unique there. Interactive piece in the end. Got a Dom Sigma. No wonder it's upside down. There we go. So there is our. There we go. Kiwi on that. We'll find a good distance there. Dom Saturn. And there we go. Dom, Dom Circle S. This one has snake pins in it. A Dom IX5 KG. This is a new one, so not used. Mortura 7 or a C30. Vice Icon SK6. Abus XP2. Let's see how's this one? This is a. There we are. A Wink House Extra. A Dom IX10. I am Dom IX6 SR. That one, okay. Yeah, most of these are dimple locks. Queso 10 RS. Queso 2000 S. Dom RS8. Come on out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that one has a unique sidebar on it, it looks like. A really cool one. Yeah, look at the keyway, how it kind of goes in there. Uh, Yale 2100. Trying to get into these sliders a little bit more. They're not too bad from what I heard, but just like anything, you gotta get a feel for them. Lido MP83. We have a couple Rav Baryox here. There's a, that's how you spell it. There's another, you can see the logo on a little bit better there. But yeah, pen and pen, interactive locks. Yardini, dimple lock. We have a, a multi lock, um, not pen and pen, just a regular dimple lock for it. Avis XP1. So, a wicked keyway there, but you also see the key there. Those are actually just to prevent from um, duplicating the key. So, not so much of an extra security thing. The keyway is, though. I mean, hell, screw that. That looks rough. We'll see when we get to it. We got an Avis E90. And right here 
Abus E90N. The, I'm not sure if the E90 has the pin in it, but this Abus E90N had the the spring-loaded T-pin in it that got smushed right there. Had a spring on the end, was spring-loaded, really cool. We have a Avis Set ATK 3 Star. This is too shiny, I guess. That's fine. Asaruko Flex Core. This one is a Wilka, I'm assuming a W235, because I didn't label it. Eva FPS. GGAP2000. Eva DPS. Thank you for that. We have a Malenko Magnum. And then we have a Yale. 2000 plus. There we go. And then, that's funny, I said we we're going to go from when I saw the easiest, I actually have it backwards. It it's goes this way. <laughs> Those are definitely the harder ones back there. And they have a, uh, just a box full of different Different Euro, half Euro cylinders in here to pick. I got from uh, Boris overseas. Another one there. And another multi lock right here. And that is it for my video. That <clears throat> is my entire lock collection. Um, if you have any questions about any locks you've seen, uh, feel free to drop uh, questions down in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching.